this is gridlock right here. This is Southern Maryland traffic uh, when everybody's leaving work. Well, I mean, it's a little bit past work. It's uh, 7 o'clock right now. But uh, there's not a lot of traffic here. That's what I love about living in the country. Hello, everybody. My name is Colin. Hope everybody's having an outstanding day today. So I was talking to my friends last week. And, this, and by the title of this, you know what this is going to be about. This is a very passionate subject. It's either Street Glide versus Road Glide. And the, pre the reason I'm bringing this up is a couple things. First, oh, the history of this. So for those of you who don't know or if you're new to the channel, my first bike was a 2007, I think it was a 7, uh, Fat Bob Dyna. Loved that bike. Had it for about nine years. Uh, my wife wanted to do more riding and I wanted to do more touring, so I ended up trading it to a 16 Street Glide. And I had that for about nine, ten months, and then I decided on a whim that I was going to test ride the Milwaukee 8. And uh, after I did that, obviously, you probably know what happened. That's what I'm riding right now. I have a 2017 Superior Blue Street Glide Special, and I got a great deal on the trade-in, so it actually it only cost me, I think, five bucks more a month to uh, trade in the 16 to a 17. Now, at the time, when I was out there looking uh, at different bikes, so I, I test rode a bunch. And one of the bikes I test rode was a Road Glide, okay? Now, going into this, I never thought I would even come close to even considering a Road Glide. I wouldn't. I didn't like the look of it. I didn't. I just, I, I thought it's just a monstrosity of an ugly fairy in that shark nose. No offense to the people that just love this stuff, but I like the look of the Street Glide. But then I test rode it, and I test rode that thing, and it made the decision very difficult because I will be the first to admit the Road Glide rode better than the Street Glide, especially more probably than anything in higher speeds. Now, when I did that test ride, I think it was like 20 miles, and I took it in like a road like this, for instance. I mean, like right now, I'm only going 64, but that's where I was. I was doing some highway ride. And I felt the difference, knowing that I was on a 16 Street Glide for that year before, and knowing that I did a couple long trips of it, to get on that and feel the less wind deflection was a huge thing for me. But I just couldn't get over the look. So instead, I bought this. Now, I love this bike. I do. But recently, and I, don't, and I can't explain why this is happening, I've actually slowly, slowly started thinking about switching teams. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to go out right now and sell this thing and purchase a roadway. That's not my intent. I love this bike. I put too much damn money in it uh, and time to go out and sell this. It's got many miles left. But down the road, whereas before, a couple years ago, there's no way I would have thought about even purchasing a road glide. But now, I'm really starting to think about it. And here's what's funny, guys. So, like, back over the years, like, as you visited dealers, and I remember, I think this was like 14, 15 as I was visiting my local dealers, and you'd go in, and I'd say 70%, maybe even higher, of the bikes in there were the Batwing fairing. Different aspects of it, but that's what you saw, and you saw not as many on the Road Glide. But then over the last couple of years, it's evolved. It's kind of changed to where the popularity of the Road Glide has really spiked up. Now, of course, I don't have any specific sales numbers, but I know at one time the Street Glide was the number one selling bike. I don't know if it still is, I would probably beg to differ to say now it's the Road Glide because now when I go into dealers, and it's not just the one by me, I've gone into several, and when you walk on the showroom floor, there's a ton more Road Glides than there are Street Glides. So I want to know why. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that trend, whereas more people now are buying that Road Glide versus the Street Glide? The obvious answer is there you know, the biggest differences between the bike is mine's fork mounted with the fairing and then the road glide is frame mounted. You have a lot more room on the road glide with your dash where the street glides kind of ride up on you. This one's lighter. This one I think is 25 pounds lighter than the street glide. So you do get a little bit more power, even though it's the exact same engine, but you still get a little bit more power based off that weight. Other than that, what are the differences? Fairing and a little bit lighter. I think that's it. Is that, is that enough of a difference for everybody to kind of convert or you see the more popularity of the road glides? Is it because more people are doing kind of like custom work or, you know, like uh, performance baggers with the uh, road glides, right? You see a lot of that going around. I don't know. I just wanted to get your take. And then I also want to know, like, for the people out there that have rode both bikes, 
that have had them more long term and why you switched. So like if you came from like a street glide to a road glide, why'd you do it? I mean, what was the biggest reason? Because I'm slowly starting, I don't, I don't call it peer pressure, I don't. I just think the more I've looked at it, I'm like, you know, I could get used to the look. It's not bad, but ultimately if it's a better ride, why wouldn't I ride it? Even though I'm happy as shit with this one. Does that make sense? So let me know your thoughts, guys, because I know there's some passionate people out there. And, because they're both great bikes. They are. Uh, and, and ultimately, that's what it's all about is what you're happy with. Now get out there and ride, everybody, like I am on this beautiful freaking evening. Gotta love sunset rides. Be well, and I'll talk to you guys soon.